Okay, in the last uh, video I was creating the proposed site, which we have now, and uh, I was having a problem locating Solid Inspector, and if you, uh, if you do this kind of work you will want this plugin, Solid Inspector, because if you had one little teeny line somewhere on this connected to this, it will not show up as a solid. So that exercise is coming out. When we click on it, you'll see a volume up here, and remember that's just an arbitrary number because it's based on this sort of arbitrary figure that we've got here but we nevertheless have a volume of after and a volume from before if you look at the existing site um, it's you know much less on the volume so the uh, proposed if I cut this back off the proposed site uh, requires more dirt than we have available to us and the difference was um, over 7,000 cubic feet which was around 287 cubic yards, which at 14 to 15 cubic yards per truckload is about 20 truckloads of dirt that we would need to haul in uh, to make sure that this uh, looks the way it does. And um, ironically, I just did this last week on this project and hauled in quite a few loads of dirt. And I'll, I'll get the tally and see how close we are in this example, but I think it's rather close. So now we have done a cut and fill analysis for this project and I'm going to put the foundation back in and you can see it looks pretty good. Alright, in the next steps we want to get um, the driveway in uh, and mulch beds, things like that that we want to get on the property. Um, again, uh, I want to know what the quantity of my, you know, how many square yards of asphalt I'm going to need for this driveway so I can get an accurate figure for that and for base stone and, and etc. Mulch beds, things like that, more for visuals. Sidewalks, um, if I wanted to do a walk down to the lake, for instance, uh, we'll get into that in the next video.